Hill Copse is in Westcliff, just over five miles from the centre of Exeter, under five miles from the airport, ideal for holidays, and between the villages of Broadcliffe and Pinhoe. And Pinhoe Station has a direct service to London Waterloo. It's a small development of just 35 properties and having less homes per development means the developer can spend more time focusing on the detail of every single home, something they pride themselves on. 21 of the homes are bungalows and it's the bungalows that we will be looking at today. Aside from the proximity to Exeter with its range of independent high street shops, beautiful architecture, great restaurants and theatres, you also have Budley, Salterton and Exmouth within easy reach. So you have the choice of a sandy or pebble beach, perhaps some activities on the water or just more great restaurants and cafes to try. So there are five different house types, though all of the remaining properties have three bedrooms because the two bedroom property is already sold. And I spoke to a couple earlier who have already reserved. They said they liked the fact that the development was smaller because they felt that there would be more sense of community. They also liked the fact they had spacious hallways. And in some of the house types, the hallways are even bigger than this. Plus you get a view straight through to the garden. All of the house types are named after trees and this is the beach. And in here you have the layout with the bedrooms all along one side of the hallway. And then you go through the wide glass double doors to the open plan kitchen living dining room. In the kitchen you have soft closed cupboard doors, big pan drawers underneath the gas hob. All of the appliances are neff and you have that retractable oven door. There's space for a washer dryer and you have down lights. And although it, the whole space is open plan, you do have a division between the kitchen dining area and the sitting room and you have the ability to customise all the flooring in the house so you could opt for hard flooring or the mix of hard flooring and carpet like you see here. And it's really nice to have such an open sociable space. Plus you can open those bifold doors straight out to the garden but before we head out there we'll have a look at the bedrooms. All of the bedrooms are a really good size and in some of the house types the third bedroom is a double. Though in here you can see that you have an ideal study and space for a single bed so it really depends on how many visitors you plan on having to stay. Before we reach the master bedroom we have the bathroom. It's tiled but you could opt to have a large mirror like they have in here or perhaps go for a soft closed cupboard under the sink. And in the master bedroom, you'll see that there's plenty of space for a wardrobe, chest of drawers, meaning you can retain a lot of your own furniture. You can also keep the temperature of the bedrooms cooler than the living areas because there's a separate thermostat. And in the ensuite, as with the main bathroom, it's such a high finish. You have Duravit sanitary wear, hands grower taps, and the addition of this drencher shower plus the en-suites are a wet room so you don't have to step up into the shower. And it's really nice that the master bedroom overlooks the garden and we'll head outside now and see what the outside space has to offer. The back garden will be turfed, have an area of patio and an outside tap which is really handy. And in the front you can either have turf and a small flower bed or have the whole thing planted with shrubs and perennials. The main draw of living here is of course being so close to the city centre, the airport, train station and the M5 for visiting friends and relatives. But don't forget that Exeter is just surrounded by countryside. So you have so many country pubs to frequent for lunch, you have Exmoor and Dartmoor for walking and Exeter Quay is a lovely place to while away in afternoon. You can take a look at the antique shops, perhaps go for a boat trip or just go for a stroll.